AI is rapidly changing the world around us, and AI will take our jobs. Then yesterday, Devin burst onto the scene. Fuck you, Devin. Instead of being the victim, we are going to leverage this opportunity to fatten our wallets. No longer are we worrying about if we will have a job in five years. Because we are going to be the ones delegating the jobs of today with AI. Whether you fear AI becoming better than humans, at jobs humans do not want to do. With AI becoming more and more accessible, a goldmine is being created for people who know how to code. Tasks once impossible with AI are now opportunities for developers to create profitable, niche solutions. Given all of this opportunity requires some strategic planning, we want to avoid choosing a business that will get eaten up by the next OpenAI release. The key to this is to niche down. Big companies like OpenAI, Microsoft, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and more are focused on creating the next chat GPT. In other words, they want to serve massive markets. We want to identify a small niche with a constant problem that can be solved by AI and has the revenue to pay us for a high-ticket software subscription. We are not trying to be chat GPT and get a billion people to pay $20 per month. The goal should be to get 10 to 20 businesses to happily pay us $1,000 to $10,000 per month by giving them a software that saves them more than what they are paying us in time. If you have a business owner who can make $200 dollars an hour doing his high value task, but he constantly has to invest his time doing a task that is essential despite not producing the same value for his time, he has a problem. Five years ago, he would need to hire someone, but now a software developer can put in place AI and software automations to completely delegate repetitive essential tasks. If this guy spends 20 hours doing this repetitive task, taking away from his $200 an hour task, he's losing $4,000 per month from this problem. If we can pitch a business owner like this, a software solution to free up his time wasters, he would be a fool to not pay us $1,000 per month to free up his time. Now let's get specific on real world examples of where you can fill a giant market gap and start taking jobs. To identify the niche, we need it to meet some qualifications. First, the business obviously needs to be able to pay for a software that starts at $1,000 per month. So coffee shops, car washes, or your local vape shop probably won't meet this requirement. We need to pick an industry where businesses are commonly pulling in $250,000 minimum in yearly revenue. Some local businesses in high revenue industries to consider are local marketing agencies, real estate agencies, lawyers, dentists, accountants, and established auto dealers. Consistency is key here. Yes. These are not the most exciting businesses, and that is exactly what we want for a local business, because they are not going anywhere in the next 15 years, and all have high revenue companies within their respective industry, which makes them the perfect target client for us to get them on board as a long-term client, paying monthly to have us automate their BS with code. Broadening our market scope to online, we could target successful e-com brands, top social media influencers, and even niche-specific software companies experiencing growing pains. You now need to identify common problems within these industries that are persistent and commonly requiring them to hire help for. Are these businesses dependent on marketing to keep new customers coming in? Do they hire people to maintain relationships through email and phone contact? Or are they constantly having to filter through potential leads to find a small percentage of high-value leads worth investing time into? For the sake of example, let's choose the real estate industry. Most real estate agents choose the profession because they are good with people, not necessarily technology. The problem for the ones who don't want to spend a ton of time on the computer is the industry is moving more and more onto the computer every day. These agents are constantly grinding to be the first to list the new house on the market and the first to blast out to their clients about a new commercial property opportunity. They also need to be the fastest to respond to potential leads from these listings, requiring them to be able to provide fast, useful information about a property. When these agents have hundreds or even thousands of properties they are managing, this creates absolute insanity for a professional trying to minimize their screen time. Coding an AI that allows a real estate agent to never use their computer would probably take more time than we want to invest when first starting out our AI business. Let's instead pick one specific task and create a top-tier software solution that removes that one repetitive online task from their workflow. Narrowing down their problems, let's focus on lead validation. When agents list their properties online, they get a lot of messages, emails, and texts curious about the property. Unfortunately for the agent, over 90% of these people are a complete waste of time for them to engage with. So what if we create a chat agent that can access property details and data disclosed by the agent that goes much further in depth than the property listing online. The agent could provide a useful first point of contact to online leads and rank their likeliness to purchase. In Python, we can use APIs to receive and send text, 
email, and even marketplace messages. Using some code and some prompting of a language model, we can filter out time waster contacts and pass the conversation to the real estate agent only once they become ranked by our AI as a potential high value client. Think of this like an AI driven CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. CRMs are used in every industry for managing sales relationships. They are basically a spreadsheet on steroids to move clients through their sales funnel. Now our AI can completely automate the low level CRM process, making their dashboards a lot cleaner and their payroll for low level employees smaller. This is just one example of an AI business that someone will absolutely take action on and generate millions in revenue with an extremely high profit margin. This is a short gap in the market where if you wanted to bootstrap an AI SaaS, the opportunities have never been greater than now. The key is to pick one and start taking action while the demand for niche AI solutions is higher than the supply. Whether you pick the real estate CRM agent or something completely different, before sinking months into development, you need concrete proof people will pay for your solution. Let's talk about the two most proven ways to validate a software idea before going down the path of developing a product no one will use or buy. Pre-sell. Here's a powerful tactic. Create a simple landing page outlining your proposed AI solution, its benefits, and a pricing structure. Before coding a single line, start reaching out to your potential customers. I'm building this specifically for realtors to save you time and boost lead conversions. Would you be interested in getting early access for a discounted rate? This not only validates the idea, but builds your customer base before you even launch. Offer an MVP. Think of this as a super basic version of your software. Don't worry about fancy features. Can you code up a Python script that automates one tiny part of the problem you've identified? You can worry about packaging this as fully functional, beautiful software later. Right now we need feedback. Offer this to your realtor contacts for free. In exchange, you get invaluable feedback. What works, what doesn't, and what else they'd be willing to pay for. Bonus points if you can validate the idea with a demo video. Record a video showing off the user interface and functionality of your AI solution after you have built a production-ready software for your first client. Pitching future clients can be a matter of showing them a video demoing your software and explaining how you can customize it to fit their specific business. Remember, the point of focus after learning to code should be on getting your first client. Once you have one, you can create your first AI solution for profit. This has been an overview of emerging trends in the AI market and how to leverage the opportunities with AI Austin. I will see you in the next one.